This is Greg with Threshold Media Productions, and today I have a requested tutorial on how to use Hype inside of iWeb, but by using Dropbox. Okay, so this is the Hype file that I have set up, and we are going to input this into our iWeb document here. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to take this HTML snippet and drag it into your iWeb document. Okay, and there's going to be a code that we need to paste into this little section here. And the code that I have for you is an iframe code that we're going to be using. Okay, so go ahead and, and pause the video and copy this code or write it down or whatever you need to do in order to get this code. And we are going to move on from here. Okay, so from our hype document, we're going to go to File, Export as HTML5 to a folder. Okay, and we're just going to I preset up a folder, so we're going to call it Hype iWeb Dropbox. Okay, so let's go ahead and name it iWeb or hype iWeb Dropbox. Okay. And we're gonna have an HTML file uh, HTML folder and a enclosure folder. Okay. So we're gonna click on save. Okay, now that we have that, we are going to move on to our Dropbox folder. Okay. So under the Dropbox uh, icon here, just go ahead and open Dropbox folder. And under the public, this is where we're going to paste in our, our HTML um, height file. Okay, so we're going to locate the file first, okay, which I saved it here. And we are going to copy over this folder. So we're going to right click, copy. We're going to head back over to our Dropbox folder, okay. And go to the public, and we're going to paste, okay. Because if you move a folder straight into Dropbox, it's going to move the entire folder from its original location into the Dropbox. So this is a way to have a, a backup of the folder on Dropbox. Okay. So now that it's loaded up, uh, we're going to hit close. Okay. And we are going to go over to the code that we had earlier, and we're going to highlight it. Okay. And we're going to copy it. And we're going to go over to our iWeb folder, our document, and we're going to paste in the code here. Okay. Now, if you see here, it says iframe equals 000, zero, zero pixels and height equals 00, zero pixels. Okay. What you want to input there is the actual height and width of your file and height. Okay. So let's go over to our height and open the inspector. Okay. And if you go under the first tab here, uh, the document side, you'll see the width is 800 and the height is 500. Okay. So we want to go into our iWeb document, and we want to input 800, okay, by 500, okay. And for the source here, uh, you notice I put in Dropbox link, okay. So where you want to find that is, let's go ahead and open up um, Safari, or actually we'll open up um, the Dropbox website from the link up top, okay. Um, here, uh, you want to go to your, your public folder, where you placed your, your height folder, and you see here, I placed it here. So we're going to have this HTML, uh, well, the HTML uh, file that we upload as well with the resources, but resources with Dropbox, we don't have to worry about. Okay, we're just going to hit this file menu here and, and click on copy public link. Okay, um, this link will show up and you want to copy the clipboard. You can either use this one or you can shorten the link, which is fine and copy to the clipboard. You notice it's copied by the little check mark here. Okay. So since it's copied, we're gonna go ahead and go back to iWeb and right here where it says source in the parentheses or in the quotes, we want to paste that address. Okay. And once you paste it and hit apply, you'll notice that you'll see our animation pop up here. And now we can you know go ahead and re reorganize it and change it and move it where we want. And we want to um, go to file and iWeb and publish site changes. Okay. Click OK to continue. It's going to do its thing. Okay. 
folks in the background. And it's done. Okay. So in order to, to make sure this works, I am going to um, create a link to that, which is here, Dropbox, and we're going to go ahead and open the inspector, and we're going to link this to one of my pages, and we're going to link it to the um, Dropbox tutorial. Okay. So we're going to go here, File, Publish Site Changes again, continue. Gonna do its thing. Gonna publish. All right, it's okay to visit. So now we're gonna visit our site. Now we're gonna go to threshold. It's our website. Now once we click on the link, you should see the hype animation file load up. And there it is, guys. And that is how you use hype inside of iWeb using Dropbox. Thanks, guys.